Florence, South Carolina. Alex Weber, the voice in the booth, bringing you Patriot soccer on this Saturday night. Before we get into the action, first let's check out our pregame interview with Patriots head women, men's soccer coach, Luis Rincon. All right, it's Alex Weber here with head coach of the men's soccer team, Luis Rincon. First of all, just tell me some of the uh, keys to a victory here against Southern Wesleyan University. We, we have to play the same way we, we train uh, this whole week. I think we're looking forward to to bounce back. The, the group was hurt and respond well over the week. It's been the, the same, the, the best I've seen them train uh, this season so far, so I'm very pleased that we're going to have a good result. You know, talk about these, these next few days, you know, five, six matches in the next five days. Talk about how much of a toll that could put on this team and how you guys are preparing for that. You know, it could change completely or, or, or season. We're looking forward to, to turn around and, you know, to, to be the highest in, in the standings you know, or in the conference uh, for the conference tournament. I appreciate it, Coach. Thanks for uh, sitting here and talking with us, and uh, good luck with the match. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good. Alex, where we right back here on the Patriots Sports Network today or tonight? Now we have the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors coming into the swamp to face the home defending Francis Marion University Patriots. Patriots men's soccer program enters this season for its second year in Conference Carolinas. In the Conference Carolina's 2022 preseason coaches poll, they voted Francis Marion to finish second in the conference behind Chowan University. As we have the Warriors changing over there on the bench side for them, and Patriots coming out on the field now, and they're all white kits for tonight. Southern Wesleyan rocking. Looks to be a blue top with maybe gray bottoms. That's what it looks like from this angle, but... Those are the sides for you today. We're going to let the PA announcer here at Francis Marion go through the lineups and and both sides here, and the, we'll come right back here and go through the lineups once again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hartstor Field on the campus of Francis Mary University for this evening's Conference Carolina's men's soccer match between the Southern, Universe, Southern Wesleyan University Warriors and your Francis Marion University Patriots. At this time, let's meet the starting lineup for the Warriors from Central South Carolina. In goal, number 33, a freshman from Easley, Wesley Bigby. Number two, a sophomore from Easley, Ryan Rodriguez. Number four, a junior from Easley, Austin Snow. Number seven, a junior from Anderson, Noah Coach. Number eight, a sophomore from Easley, Farron Nunez. 
Number nine, a sophomore from Richmond Hill, Georgia, Pedro Fonseca. Number 16, a sophomore from Clemson, Tipton White. Number 23, a freshman from Midway, Georgia, Gabrielle Melendez. Number 24, a sophomore from Powdersville, Carter Pike. Number 26, a senior from Anderson, Trey Greenwood. And 41, a senior from Easley, Zachary Hurst. The Warriors are coached by Josh Horendilo, and he's assisted by Gary Greenwood and Jose Rangel. And now the starting lineup for your Francis Marion University Patriots. In goal, number zero, a graduate student from Milan, Italy, Andrea Scapolo. Number six, a graduate student from Malmo, Sweden, Hugo Johnson. Number seven, a sophomore from Leichenberg, Germany, Nick Kunick. Number 14, a graduate student from Las Palmas de Juan Canaria, Spain, Juan Alamon. Number 15, a sophomore from Porto, Spain, Yamo Bonet. Number 16, a junior from Hamburg, Germany, Timo Lemka. Number 17, a junior from Hilton Head Island, Matias Morales. Number 20, a graduate student from Alberton, the Netherlands, Luke Halen. Number 24, a senior from Asuncion, Paraguay, Sebastian Garcia. Number 27, a junior from Caracas, Venezuela, Juan Carlo Palma. And 28, a freshman from Caracas, Venezuela, Jose Passaro. The Patriots are coached by Luis Rincon, who's assisted by Kevin Martin and Santiago Ramirez. The athletic trainer is Kinsey Dunst Nelson. Right back here on the Patriot Sports Network for first half kickoff. Southern Wesleyan University visiting the hosting Francis Marion University. Let's take a look at some of the standing for both sides. Southern Wesleyan University coming in with an overall record of 2-10-1 in conference, 1-7-1. Francis Marion University enters this game with a 5-4-4 overall record and a 3-2-2 conference record. We'll go through the lineups real quick for you before the half starts. For the Warriors in goal, number 33, Wesley Bigby. Midfielder, number two, Ryan Rodriguez. Forward, number four, Austin Snow. Midfielder, number seven, Noah Koch. Midfielder, number eight, Farron Nunez. Forward, number nine, Pedro Fonseca. Defender, number 16, Tipton Wright. Midfielder, number 23, Gabrielle Melendez. Midfielder, number 24, Carter Pike. Midfielder number 26, Trey Greenwood. And midfielder number 41, Zachary Hurst. Over on the Patriots side, in goal for FMU, number zero, Andre Scapolo. Midfielder number six, Hugo Johnson. Forward number seven, Nick Hunick. Forward number 14, Juan Alawan. Defender number 15, Jaume Bonnet. Midfielder number 16, Kimo Limke. Midfielder number 17, Matias Morales. Midfielder number 20, Luke Halen. Defender number 24, Sebastian Garcia. Forward number 27, Giancarlo Palma. And defender number 28, Jose Spasaro. As we are set for first half kickoff, both sides out on the field ready for action. And we are confirming that the Southern Wesleyan kits have sort of a gray front, blue sleeves, gray shorts. Bit of an interesting color scheme, I'd say. And Bonnet with it for the Patriots. Plays it back to Sebastian Garcia. Send a long ball down the line to Palma, and it's going to fly out of bounds. Throw in now for the Warriors. Garcia there to step in front. 
Funke plays it over to Spasaro. Morales now cutting through the Warriors' defense outside the bonnet. He sends a ball into the box. Warrior right there to defend, and that one is going to go out of bounds. Patriot throw in. Bonnet, I believe, getting his first start of the season for the Patriots. Hugo Johnson in the middle. Out wide to Halen. And that ball going to be a throw in just off of the flag. Matter of fact, it'll be an overrule. It'll stay with FMU. Ball served into the box, off the throw in. Back to the lap of Hugo Johnson. Ball back into the box for Palma. Alleman. Palma just trying to get to it. And he can't get around the shielding that time by Rodriguez. Morales. Heads it back towards Aleman. Ball played deep that time for number four, Austin Snow. Stay with the Warriors. Warriors trying to collect it. Patriots play it back to Scapolo. Throw in now for the Warriors just at midfield. Warriors with a shot attempt, and that one just a bit to the left. And when I say just a bit, I'm being generous. It'll be a goal kick here for Scapolo. Alamon gets a foot on it, Sapper. Try to play it behind the defender to get it to Morales. But a long ball is going to find its way back to Scapolo. Scoops it up. Throws it back out to Halen. And if you've stuck with me throughout the season, I have been saying Geelan and, and Ailman for two of the Patriots uh, soccer players. But I have learned today that my pronunciation was off. And I do apologize for that. Golasso, Hugo Johnson, goal! 1-0, Patriots. Start things early. Hugo Johnson off the rebound. Patriots lead 1-0 here in the 43rd minute. Excuse me, the, the third, fourth minute of this match.
throw in here for the Warriors. Patriots have it now. Bonnet out to Palma. Aleman. It'll be a corner kick here for the Patriots. Corner kick here going to be taken by Hugo Johnson. Set piece here for the Patriots. Just four at the penalty marker spot. One, Luke Halen in front of the keeper. Johnson with the ball into the box. Flicked off the head into the back of the net. 2-0 Patriots, and that's another goal. for FMU. Back-to-back -back scoring opportunities put in the back of the net by the Patriots. Hugo Johnson with the first goal assisted by Juan Aleman and the second goal that time being put in the back of the net. 2-0 Patriots with the lead early, early here in the first half. Ball sent deep to Halen. Patriots with a very hefty lead to start the match. 2-0 here against the Warriors. Both goals coming from Hugo Johnson. We're going to check with the statistics here real quick, but I'm almost positive that this is the maybe the first goal of Hugo Johnson's career as a Patriot, but definitely the first game with two goals for him. And Luke Haitlin offsides for the Patriots. Free kick here for the Warriors. And it is, in fact, Hugo Johnson's first goal as a Patriot. Nevertheless, he gets two in the same game. Not even 10 minutes into the match. So Hugo Johnson is feeling it early on. He's got the fire. He's got that dog in him, as they like to say. Skips under Spasaro's foot into the box for Scapolo. Johnson now getting it past midfield. Outside of the foot pass for Halen. Through the Warriors defenders for Morales. Morales with a ball. Alongside Palma. A nice finish, but I think they said out of bounds on the play from Palma. That would have been an absolutely incredible play by Sapper. Putting it back in the net. But I think the Warriors knew. With that play, it was going to be out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick now for Big B. Heel flick by the Warriors results in a free kick. Batted out of the box. Warriors still with it. Play it back to the defense. Yeah. 
throw in, excuse me, goal kick for Scapolo. That one just traveled out of bounds. It's Pissarro for Galen. Into the middle for Alamon. Long ball for Palma. He's on sides. Palma, 1v1, going to shield it away. Try and get around the defender. And a free kick given for the Warriors. Rodriguez picking up the foul. And Bonnet, the ball sent back to the defense. Bonnet with a bit, bit of hands to the back that time, but the Warriors still stay with it, trying to bob and weave throughout this Patriots attack. Palma over to Alamon. Excuse me, Sapper that time over to Johnson. Plays it forward to Galon. Gets taken away. Morales with it now. Johnson has to turn back. Play it into the middle for Limka. He'll play it to Sapper. Sapper to Palma. And not sure what Palma's plan was that time. Go through the legs of Rodriguez or try to play it near post. Garcia gets in front. Johnson plays it over to Spasaro. And Sapper with it inside the box. Sapper! Golasso! Number three in the back of the net for the Patriots, this time from Paul Sapper. They turned the lights on me up here for how long that goal lasted. But number three for the Patriots puts them on top. And we're not even 15 minutes into the first half, and the Patriots are up 3-0, two from Johnson, one from Sapper. What a game so far for Francis Marion. I don't think we've seen an offensive game like this from the Patriots at home this season. Uh, we've seen it a couple times on the road, but this is the first time I have been in the booth seeing such an offensive game put on by this Patriots squad. They're normally a very defensive and possessive team. But as we've progressed over these last few weeks, Head coach Luis Rincon just has stressed and stressed and stressed about creating opportunities and then putting them away. I think you can check that off for today's match. Three goals on four shots for the Patriots. And here's Palma again. He's going to swing a ball into the box. Almost finds its way into the top right corner. Oh, my goodness. The way he bent that ball into the box, I thought he was for sure going for the cross. <laughs> he went for the shot, folks. And had that gone in, oh my goodness. But -na -na, da -na -na, top play. Goodness gracious. Would have loved to see that one find the back of the net. Warriors stay with it. Past midfield now. They've got numbers up top. And they've got to shoot the ball, and they do that time, but they keep it in bounds. Rodriguez now pushes it over, and Kimo Limke steps in front. Palma tried to take it away. Kimo Limke steps in front and stops the Warriors' run.
There's Morales now getting around a Warrior Defender. Playing it for Morales. He's on sides. Just got to get around a Warrior. He's going to play it into the box. Not the best ball, but it finds its way there. Galen back to Limka. Over to Bonnet. Warriors now with it, trying to get it past midfield. And they'll send a long ball over the top of the defense. Warriors going to get there. Into the box, Scapolo though, with the easy catch and grab. Warriors back line, keep, trying to keep it away from the Patriots after this start. And a throw in for the Warriors. Ball down line for Rodriguez. Big touch, though, is going to give it right back up. Sapper gets it taken away by Nunez. Nunez fakes a shot, chops inside. Top of the box, shot blocked by Garcia. Back out to Rodriguez. He'll have to play it back to Hurst. And a free kick now given to the Patriots. Bonnet over to Spisaro. Now Morales. Tussle for the ball that time between Morales and Nunez. We'll stay with the Warriors. Long ball that time from the keeper, Bigby. Shot is absolutely blasted. Watch out for my truck in the parking lot. Goal kick now for the Patriots, and we'll have a substitution for FMU. Giancarlo Palma coming off, and I want to say that that's the brother of Javier Bayo, Miguel Bayo, and it is. We've seen the... Young sophomore out of Madrid, Spain, get a little bit more time out on the pitch, and he has definitely earned it. He's created a lot of opportunities for the Patriots up top. I think getting fresh legs out there is definitely the most important thing you can do up 3-0 is keep that energy going and keep the pace of play the same. Good stop that time by Bigby inside the box. Back to Garcia in the middle.
Sapper now over to Morales. Ball intended for Bayo, and he's way off sides. I think he knew that as well. Bayo trying to take it away from the Warriors. Here's Melendez now. Back to Rodriguez and free kick now for Southern Wesleyan. Incoming sub as well for the Warriors. There's Pissarro. He's got Galen on the other side. They're going to find it in the middle to Limka. He's going to have to play a roll pass to Bonnet. Upfield now to Bayo. Bayo trying to get around the defender. And a goal kick now for Swu. So the substitution this time, that's going to be number looks to be number three for Southern Wesley, and that's Caden DeFranzo, the junior defender out of Williamston, South Carolina, product of Palmetto High School. Johnson now over to Bonnet. Pissarro's ball long this time intended for, I believe, Alamon. Free kick for the Patriots now. 22 minutes to go here in the first half. Sebastian Garcia now over to Bonnet. Warriors now with it. Here's a shot blocked by Limka. And Bayo gets it up to Curvelo. Curvelo, who came in, must have snuck past me. Check out who he came in for earlier. Curvelo came in for. We're still trying to figure it out from our side. I'm not even sure who he's come in for. Looks to be maybe Nick Hunick. Sorrow's right there to defend it over the head of Sapper. Bayo's pass to Curvelo is kept alive. Back to Bayo, sends a ball into the box for Johnson. He's right there. His shot's blocked, and Bigby scoops it up.
Johnson in the middle with it over to Limka. Goal kick now for Big B and the Warriors. It's going to be more of a... And it will be a goal kick, excuse me. And they'll play it quickly to Worst. Excuse me, Hurst for the Warriors, number 41, playing the anchor of the back line so far. Throw in now for Southern Wesleyan. Just one shot for the Warriors. Down three in the first half. And Nunez can't get around some Warriors. Bonnet has the ball taken away out of bounds. Throw in now for FMU. Ball for Bayo. And that'll actually stay with the Warriors for a throw in. Sapper now has Bayo on the wing. Bayo inside the box. Throws the ball in, and Helens header just wide left. It'll be a Bigsby goal kick for the Warriors, and we're going to have some super subs come on the pitch for the Patriots. Javier Bayo, Alvaro Zamora, and I want to say Luis Villarreal coming on for Hugo Johnson, Juan Alamon, and Paul Sapper. Ball served into the box. Curvelo off the heel and just finds the corner of the net. Not inside the net this time, though. It's going to be a goal kick, so not goal number four for the Patriots. As the heel touch from Curvelo just misses the inside corner. And you think Southern Wesleyan would want to play with a little bit more of a sense of urgency down 3-0 here in the first half. And Garcia will just send a ball down the line. Curvelo kept it alive. Zamora right there. Plays it to Curvelo. Ball for Zamora. And taken away by Nunez. Taken back again by Nunez, and Zamora comes up awkwardly. And a free kick given to Southern Wesleyan here. Warriors with it. Creeping into the Patriots box, and it's going to be a free kick for Francis Marion. Spasaro just going to. 
Cross the box, play it to Garcia. Ball for Curvelo, deflected over to Bonnet. And Bayo's pass. Slide tackle that time by number three for the Warriors. DeFranzo stopping the Patriot attack that time. And there goes Curvelo around Zamora inside the box. That's always dangerous for any school going against the Patriots. Zamora gets it taken away. Limka takes a shot off the top bar and headed back into the net by Javier Bayo. And that's goal number four for the Patriots. Up 4-0 here in the first half. And the Warriors just have to come back with a sense of urgency. You're down 4-0 in the first half. The Patriots absolutely just taking everything that's given to them so far. The Warriors just have not been great in their lower third of the field, defending the Patriots' attacks, serving the ball in has been the Patriots' go-to so far, and it has been working. The shot from Kimo Limka off the crossbar and rebounded by Javier Bayo. Phenomenal stuff by the Patriots. Final stat on goal number four was an assist by Kimo Limp. Got another goal this time for Francis Marion. I can't even get done explaining the last goal and Curvelo's putting one in the back of the net. That's goal number five for Francis Marion University here in the first half. And yes, folks, that is right. You are seeing a keeper change here in the first half. That's the first keeper change I have seen at home for a men's soccer game this season. Patriots up 5-0. Let's see if this is going to be the reason that the Warriors get back into the game. Big B coming out. And I believe that's their other keeper is number 27, Will Hughes, a senior out of Fairport, New York. Unbelievable. Jose Carvalho getting the fifth goal. So, so far, we'll give you an update on the five goals here in this cinematic first half. And hopefully, by the time I do that, there's not another goal on top of that. But two goals for Hugo Johnson. He's also got an assist. One goal for Paul Sapper. You also have an assist for Aleman and Kimo Limka. And goals for Javier Bayo and Jose Curvelo. The Patriots leading 5-0 here in the first half. I can imagine head coach Luis Rincon is extremely happy about what he has seen him. Offensively, I would say, you know, defensively as well. Only allowing one shot for the Warriors. They've barely been on the Patriots' side of the field. Are going to have a free kick here. Just a few yards outside the 18 box. 5-0 score. I mean, I'm still shocked that I'm seeing that on the scoreboard because this has been the most goals at home I've seen the Patriots put in the back of the net. And I promise you won't hear me complaining about the amount of goals in the back of the net. It looks like Nunez and potentially Ryan Rodriguez manning the free kick. Nunez looking to take it. I imagine that he tries to sweep this one into the box, not take a shot. He sends it low. That could have been dangerous. And the Patriots just somehow managed to evade that sneaky free kick by the Warriors, playing it low on the ground. I don't think the Patriots thought that that was coming. Bayo with it on the wing. Finds Villarreal. He'll send a box in. Zamora! Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. 
But six goals in the back of the net for the Patriots. They lead six to nothing with 11.04 left on the clock. The Warriors just look dismantled. They don't even know what to do at this point. Down six, nothing. And to be frank, I don't think I would know what to do either. I, do you make a change in formation? Do you do you scrap a lot of the things that you planned on doing, you know, schematically, or or do you just keep playing the way you've been playing? Because if you go with option C there, I, I don't see it really working out for you too long. Six nothing in the first half, and we're not even finished with the first half. First of all, we've still got lots of time left. Patriots back line, Spisaro with it. In the middle to Zamora. Zamora with a ball for Bayo. Bayo at the top of the box, plays it out to Villarreal. And Villarreal plays it to Zamora. Zamora. And I haven't seen this face on the field this season. Pedro, or yes I have, Pedro Crespo out there for the Patriots, number 22. The graduate student forward out of Madrid, Spain, out on the pitch for FMU now. Zamora. Miscommunication intended it for either Bayo or Vill Villarreal. Taken away, Warriors free kick now. And we do have a player down on the field. That's Rodriguez for Swoo. Long ball from Hurst off the back of number nine, Pedro Fonseca. Bayo, he's got pace. He's going to be able to get to that one first, and he sends a ball into the box for Bayo into the back of the net again. Goal! Lasso, number seven for the Patriots. Unbelievable. Francis Marion leads 7 0 with 9.03 here left in the first half. I don't think I have seen an offensive performance like this in a long time from college soccer. This is incredible for Francis Marion University. Absolutely. Head coach Luis Rincon has got to be pleased with what he has seen. I mean, when you see a big old 7 on your side and a big zero on the other. I don't think you can really be mad about that. 7-0 Patriots, 12 shots in the first half, two corner kicks, the Warriors, one shot, zero corner kicks. Bayo makes a clean standing tackle, plays it forward to Zamora, he's got a man on his back. Tried to play it to Corvello, Spasaro now at midfield, over to Villarreal. Villarreal not sure where to go. He's going to have Zamora there. Plays it quickly to Villarreal. Villarreal to Bayo. Ball into the box just over the head of his brother, Miguel Bayo. Also in the match for the Patriots, number two, Maximilian Ling, sophomore defender out of Dornburn, Austria, represent. Got a little bit of family in Austria, so whenever I see somebody on the pitch from the homeland, it always, it's a special place. It's going to be a free kick here taken by the keeper. And that's no longer Wesley Bigby. That's number 27, Will Hughes now. Warriors decided to make a keeper change here early. 
Well, I wouldn't say early. The score definitely had an, an impact on that, but you know, since then, I guess the goal rate has gone down, but still the amount is there. Played inside the box. There's the Warriors. They're going to have a chance. Left-footed shot is easily scooped up by Scapolo in position. He's going to roll it out to Heelan now. Into Crespo. Out to Bayo. Free kick for the Patriots now. Bayo leads it off for Halen. Intended for Zamora. Hughes comes up with it quickly. Brother Real gets up for it. And I would have thought a free kick would have been given that time for Southern Wesleyan after the collision. Shot! Over the crossbar from Gielan. And they'll say a corner kick. They'll say a deflection happened on that play. Well, under six minutes to go here in the first half. And it has gone by incredibly fast, I will say that. And it might be just the amount of goals we've seen in the back of the net. But this is probably the quickest first half I've seen, let alone the most goals I've ever seen uh, in a first half. Now, I'm sure some of my predecessors have seen more in the past, but me alone, I have not seen this many goals. Warriors win it back. That ball intended for Fonseca. And he can't really stay with it that time. So the Patriots are just going to play it around the back line. That pass from Villarreal, but he's there to recover. Curvelo comes back up with it. They'll give it to the Warriors. Free throw in now, just past midfield. DeFranzo finding Nunez. And defended by Crespo. Ling with a head on it. Zamora takes it off the chest, plays it to Crespo. Crespo with a man on his back. He's going to play it through the middle to Bayo. Bayo is on sides. Bayo cuts it in. Takes a shot back of the net. And that is a H A T T R I C K hat trick for Javier Bayo. Three goals for Javier Bayo, two for Sapper, two for Johnson as well. And the Patriots are up eight to zero here in the first half with 3.47 left. All right, so the Warriors are going to kick off now down 8 nil. Warriors just look out of sorts. They didn't even know what they were doing from the kickoff that time. I just think when there's a score like that out on the school board, now I'm not saying that you should just, you know, lie down and take it, but at the same time, I feel like you have to have some sort of respect for yourselves to, to kind of try and do something here. 8-0 is just a tough break to come back from, but it, it's, there's, you know, about 48 minutes of play left. 
in this match, there's got to be a way that the you know the Warriors can find a couple in the back of the net or at least create some opportunities for themselves. Free kick awarded for the Warriors now. Up two and a half to go. Two goals from Hugo Johnson, one for Paul Sapper. Three for Javier Bayo, one for Zamora, one for Curvelo. Patriots are just spreading the ball around tonight. And I think I've used this line many times before, but this first half feels like Oprah. Take a look under your seat. Everybody gets a goal. Minute 55 to go, and free kick going to be taken by Nunez. Blocked by the wall of the Patriots. And they've got four guys defending Nunez. Nunez spins out of it and takes a shot against Scapolo. And Scapolo makes the save. He reaches for the back of his neck. And Scapolo coming up awkwardly and not sure if a player got made contact against him or if he had some dirt fly in his eyes, but he's back up with a minute 20 to go. And he'll play it short out to Sebastian Garcia. Garcia will play it back to Scapolo. One minute remaining. Cross the box this time to Spasaro. Galen forward to Bayo. Bayo with a ball into the box for his brother, but it's just behind him. They're trying to get that connection just once this year. Javi to Miguel. I want to say it too. And it's going to be a corner kick, excuse me, a throw in, short throw in here close to the corner flag. Zamora with the ball in, intended for Curvelo. Garcia back, and he's going to play it to Scapolo. About 10 seconds to go Three, now. Nine, eight, Patriots seven, are just going to dribble this one six, out for the first five, half. Four, three, two, one, zero. And I really just have one word for this first half. And that one word would be wow. Wow. Eight to zero. Patriots with the lead going into half. Let's take a look at some of the statistics from both sides. Now, nothing against Southern Wesleyan, but there wasn't much. Just three shots to their name. One shot from Nunez, one on goal for him. One for Wright and one for Greenwood as well on target. No subs have accumulated any stats for the Warriors, but over on the Patriots side, the leading shot taker right now. Three shots for Hugo Johnson. Two on goal. Those two shots on goal find in the back of the net. He's also got an assist to his name. Paul Sapper with one goal, one shot as well on target. One assist for Juan Alamon and Kimo Limko who both have a shot as well. Alamon with a shot on target. Palmo as well with one shot. Going to the subs for Francis Mary University. Javier Bayo with three goals, three shots, all on target. One goal for Alvaro Zamora, that one shot on target. Obviously, Curvelo as well with one goal, the shot on target. And an assist for Miguel Bayo as well. 14 shots for the Patriots, two for the Warriors, two saves for the Warriors, one for the Patriots, three corners as well for FMU. That's going to take us into halftime with a whopping score of 8-0.
to nothing right here on the Patriot Sports Network. I'm Alex Weber, and we'll be right back with action. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. decked out in their regalia and as you look up at all of those people you see families huge families and you know why all those people are there because this is the very first one the very first graduate so special If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. decked out in their regalia and as you look up at all of those people you see families huge families and you know why all those people are there because this is the very first one the very first graduate so special If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime.
Conference, Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. decked out in their regalia and as you look up at all of those people you see families huge families and you know why all those people are there because this is the very first one the very first graduate so special If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. decked out in their regalia and as you look up at all of those people you see families huge families and you know why all those people are there because this is the very first one the very first graduate so special If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime.
Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Agerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. decked out in their regalia and as you look up at all those people you see families huge families and you know why all those people are there because this is the very first one the very first graduate so special If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Right back here on the Patriot Sports Network, we got 30 seconds now until we start the second half of action. They got out there eagerly, very eagerly to get this second half going. The Warriors down 8-0. And surprise, surprise, we're going to see a lot more of the Patriots reserves out there on the field. A couple we're already seeing out there. Number 3-1, Sebastian Caballero, the sophomore defender out of Yopal, Colombia as well as number 26, Colin McCabe, the sophomore midfielder out of Milledgeville, Georgia. There's a couple others out there. Gabriela Cabrero, the grad midfielder out of Turin, Italy. And the defense, number two, Maximilian Ling, the sophomore defender out of Dornburn, Austria. As Garcia sends a ball down the field for Palma. Villarreal backing up for it. Sends a ball into the box. Cabrero right there. Colin McCabe, back to Cabrero. And Garcia with a long ball intended for Villarreal. Gets over the heads of both Villarreal and Rodriguez. Villarreal plays it back to Cavalero. Sends it back out by the Warriors. Smashing Garcia right there to hop right back on it. And McCabe back over to Visnes who's getting his first few minutes here in the second half. Shot! Save that time. Out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick now for the Patriots. The booming shot from Zamora right to the gloves of Hughes. And Villarreal will take a corner kick. Played short to Caballero. Short again, this time to Ling. Caballero. Ball into the box. Plays it short. It's in it for Visnes. 
And McCabe back out there. Ball for Villarreal. McKay back on it. And just confirming this for the statistical junkies out there. Javier Bayo has a hat trick here for the Patriots. That's his first ever hat trick as a Patriot member in regular season play. And is in fact the most goals that the forward has had in a season, I believe, now it's seven. We're going to go back and take a look at that. But as of right now, that's what I'm seeing. And that is his second highest, as a matter of fact, season goals because he had nine in his freshman season as a Patriot. And now a ball is sent into the box intended for Palma. Palma finds it back. Caballero. Low ball into the box. Scooped out by a Warrior. Caballero. And a throw in now for Swoo. Another statistical junkie fact, I'd like to say, is that the Patriots beat Southern Wesleyan last year in Central South Carolina with a score of 8-0 as well. The score would have been 9-0 then if Hunick's goal would have been on sides, but it's going to be a free kick for the Warriors. But as I was saying, an 8-0 score in 2021 against Southern Wesleyan University. A little bit of deja vu here. I'm going to take a look at the box score from that match as well. And Javier Bayo, as a matter of fact, had two goals in that match. And there also was a hat trick in the game last year against Southern Wesleyan, coming from former Patriot defender slash midfielder Sam Pollard, who scored three goals that game. And Cabarero working the side of the Southern Wesleyan bench. Won back by the Warriors. Long ball sent over the top of the defense, and Garcia there to clean it up. Warriors able to stay with it. Played out of bounds for a Patriot throw-in. Francis Mary University would like to thank the following sponsors. Adidas, Florence Toyota, State Farm and Agent Jim Stewart, McLeod Sports Medicine, Pepsi, McLeod Health, King Cadillac Buick GMC, Chick-fil-A, Circle Park Behavioral Health Services, Fairfield Inn and Suites, Ken Jackson and Remax Professionals, Comfort Inn, The Waffle House, Zaxby's, 
McCall Supply Incorporated, Little Caesars Pizza, La Quinta Inn and Suites, McDonald's, Rains Hospitality, State Credit Union, Sparrow and Kennedy Tractor Supply, PD Electric Cooperative, Hyatt Place, Quincy Steakhouse, Western Sizzlin', Arby's, and KFC. Warrior is going to take a, I'm not sure if that's a shot or not. Don't think they're going to count as a shot. Not sure exactly what the motive was. Into McCabe. Villarreal right there. And a free kick awarded for the Warriors. And that's a long ball from Austin Snow. Sebastian Garcia playing kickball, plays it right back to him. Hunick up top with some pressure. Chip pass, sails out of bounds. Garcia plays it forward to Cabarero. All intended for Cabarero and the keeper for the Warriors. Hughes comes up early. Just under 36 to go here in the second half. Patriots still lead 8-0. Warriors now trying to get it past midfield, but it stays with the Patriots. Played over to Visnes. Ball sent in by Caballero off the head of Zamora. And Nunez for the Warriors able to clean it up. Back to Ling. Ling with a shot over the crossbar and a goal kick for Hughes and the Warriors. Villarreal going up for the header. Fair battle. McCabe comes down with it. Back to McCabe. Back to Visnes. Caballero. Down line to Villarreal and out of bounds. Defended by... Snow. And the shot flies wide right. Goal kick here for Hughes.
Garcia there with the header. Back to midfield. The Warriors have it. Nunez. Clamped by McCabe. And McCabe makes a tackle. Back to Zamora. Warriors stay with it. And they're going to take a shot that just goes left. Rodriguez splits some defenders. Free kick now for Swu. Free kick now given towards the Patriots way. Long pass to Palma. He chops inside. Great ball from Zamora. Palma tried to bend it in, tuck it into the right corner, but just a little bit wide right, and Hughes is going to take the goal kick. Long ball from Visnez for Cabarero, but it's headed out of bounds. Stays with the Patriots. Rodriguez. And he'll pick up the free kick for the Warriors. Hey. Will be a card, yellow card for... Southern Wesleyan free kick for the Patriots under 30 to go here in the second half. from Visnez to Palma. Palma has space. He'll take it, and the Warriors will win it back. Not for long. Palma over to McCabe. Back to Visnez. Over to Garcia. McCabe over to Garcia. Long ball for Cavarero. Kept alive by the Warriors. And a free kick given to Southern Wesleyan. Ball right into Ling.
Ball from Caballero. Couldn't find a Patriot, and McCabe ends up back with it. McCabe over to Caballero. He's going to take a shot. And it was going left, but Hughes kept it alive anyways, picking up a save. And that's a whopping 20 shots now for Francis Marion University. Patriots have just as many corner kicks as the Warriors do shots. Fake from Nunez. He'll play it down line to Rodriguez. And that time a blatant foul by the Warriors is going to give the Patriots a free kick. Zamora has it. He's on sides as well. Villarreal played to Hunick in the back of the net. That's goal number nine for Francis Marion University. Just one away from going up 10-0 on the Patriots. Or excuse me, on the Warriors. Patriots with nine goals. This is just the first one of the second half. Eight in the first half. And that's Nick Hunick capping off. The second half, making it 9-0, 26-55 left on the clock. 21 shots for the Patriots, four corner kicks, four total shots for the Warriors. Top to bottom, this Patriots team has played magnificent tonight. Offensively, defensively, they've done just phenomenal stuff. Yeah, definitely needed to pick up a win with the end of conference Carolina's regular season play coming to an end. So the assist on that play comes from Villarreal. And we'll have a free kick for the Warriors. Twenty six oh five on the clock. Clock is running for the Warriors. And if there's any time to start just blasting shots from 20, 40 yards out, I think it's now. And Villarreal with a ninja kick to get the ball out of their lower third of the field. McCabe over to Villarreal. Villarreal's got Palma making a nice run. Ball was played a little bit behind him. Zamora has to shield it, keep it for himself. He's got McCabe. And McCabe with the ball in the box. Palma and Hunick once again, but offsides the second time. That would have been goal number 10. But an offsides call and an injured player for the Warriors. Looks to be some cramping going on. And they'll stop the clock. Call the athletic trainer out there. We'll take a quick break as the Warriors have a player down on the field. We'll come right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town.
Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. All right, back to play here on the Patriot Sports Network as one of the Warriors had to come off the field. Might be able to come back on shortly, but he'll get looked at by the athletic trainer, Kenzie Dunst, who is walking him back over to the medical table. Marcia with a ball intended for Maximilian Ling. So it'll be a free kick for Southern Wesleyan. We'll have another substitute coming in. Giancarlo Palma coming off for Jose Curvelo, who saw a little bit of time in the first half. One goal for Curvelo. Saved that time by Hughes. Caballero into McKay, back to business. Garcia long ball for Caballero. He's on sides. Makes a nice run, chops inside. Back into the box. And he was trying to do a tramp goal that time, but... Everybody was going towards the near post, and they weren't waiting at the penalty spot. Spark, ah, excuse me, jumbled up my words there. They weren't waiting at the penalty spot marker, which when you are trying to do a tramp goal, if you've ever played FIFA before, it's exactly where your teammate needs to be or somewhere where they can receive the ball and just one touch it into the back of the net. I think that's what they were going for in that play. But we won't know. The score still remains 9-0. Now 23 minutes to go here in the second half. This will be a throw in now for the Warriors. And a throw in now for Southern Wesleyan. Nez over to Caballero. One touch passing. Morales to Caballero. And again was looking for someone to come back to the top of the box for a one touch shot. Throw in now. Caballero might be able to swing a ball in. Not sure if that's what the Patriots are looking for. Caballero swings one in. Or right to the keeper, Hughes. And the header off the head of Ling just flicks backwards, and the Warriors have an opportunity. Sebastian Garcia is able to get around, and that's going to be a Warrior throw in. Substitution for both sides. Luis Villarreal coming off for Pedro Crespo.
Bad pass by the Patriots could give the Warriors a chance. Blocked by Morales. Caballero going to be able to not save at that time. Just an extra touch inside would have kept that one alive. It'll be a Warriors throw in now. Substitution for the Warriors. Throwing into the box. Taken away by Matias Morales. Ball sent forward to Hunick. Hunick fakes out two. Warriors back to Cavarero. He'll take a shot. Deflected. Hunick fakes. Ca and Carvalho's shot followed up. Sails over the top crossbar. A goal kick now for Hughes. Cave gets ahead on it. Crespo. Scopolo picks it up. Plays it out to Cavalero. Cavalero now. Plenty of space. Plays it down wing to Morales. And Morales with the ball inside. Carvalho got ahead on it. But again, sails out of bounds. Goal kick for the Warriors. Garcia heads it to Cavarero, flicks it, intended for Hunick. And has to be bombed by Hughes. Nice touch by Cavarero. And McCabe's pass was intended for Crespo, I want to say, but it found its way to Curvelo. And a bad pass from Curvelo, but it finds its way back to FMU. Garcia just going to blast that one intended for Cabrero. Good ball from Cabrero. Plays it to Crespo. Crespo inside the box. And no PK for Crespo and the Patriots. Seems to be a clean tackle from my advantage of the angle up here in the press box. You also got to be careful as an official and, and then that sort of range of the field when players start falling in the box, you can't take every fall and assume it's a penalty kick. You know, you got to really be focused and watching uh, for what odds the action. I thought it was a probably a decent tackle by the Warriors. It looked like they got a foot on the ball, so I think that's the right call that time. Ball for Nunez. Shot sails over the crossbar and a goal kick here for FMU. Substitution now for the Warriors. Cavarero, plenty of space. Putting the defense on their toes. Cavarero, ball into the box for Curvelo. It's still there in the box. Cavarero comes down with it. 
play it back to Visnez. Forward to Morales. Morales with the ball into the box and out of bounds. Corner kick for the Patriots. Ball sent into the box again. Warriors able to punch it out. Patriots just looking for goal number 10. First time seeing double digits this season. Would be just cool to see on the scoreboard. But I obviously, uh, I know at this point in the game, Patriots lead 9-0. Another goal isn't needed with under 14 minutes to go. We may see the Patriots getting to the number 30 in terms of shots. Free kick, though, given for Southern Wesleyan. Ball sent in. Scapolo bats it down, picks it right back up. Cavarero, nice touch on the ball. Went for the slide tackle, absolutely missed on Cabrero. And that'll be a corner kick for the Patriots. Cabrero went down awkwardly, but no free kick given. Wasn't inside the box as well, so it would not have been a penalty kick. Played softly to Crespo, takes a shot fake, sends a ball into the box. I guess a pass fake in that situation. Warriors again head the ball out. The Patriots seem to just be living rent-free inside of their 18-yard box tonight. That'll be a free kick for the Warriors and a yellow card for Paul Visnaz. Hughes going to send a long ball, trying to get it over the top of the Patriots' back line. Caparero down the line. Ball into the box once again. Shot from Crespo. Full power, 100 on that one, but... Just over the crossbar would have been an absolutely beautiful galasso from Pedro Crespo. We're going to have a plethora of Patriots coming into the match. We might see an entire six, seven people come off the pitch for Francis Marion. We'll see two come on for Southern Wesleyan. Crespo staying with it. Go 
goes with the Warriors. Going the Warriors way now. About 10 minutes to go. And head coach Larice Rincon going to send in most of his starters or super subs back into the game. Ball for Morales. He gets tripped up. Play still goes on. Crespo to Hunick. Hunick with a shot and saved by Hughes. That one was going to find its way into the back right corner of the net. Good heads up play by Hughes and the goal. Nine twenty and counting here in the second half. Ball for Cabrero in the box. We'll have to play it back to Visnez. McCabe. Well, I was looking for Cabrero. He picked up quickly that time by Hughes. Garcia tried to boom it upfield. Free kick awarded for the Patriots, and we'll have not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. Maybe six. Well, it looks like it's going to be five. They took one away from me. So it's going to be five Patriots coming in back onto the pitch. with the last eight minutes to go. Substitution now for the Patriots, as well as one Warrior coming off the pitch. McCabe coming off, Curvelo coming off, Caballero coming off, Hunick coming off. All four, and as well as Caballero, so Sapper, Alamon, Deo. Crespo, Johnson, Max Ling, Sebastian Garcia, Paul Visnez all back out there for the Patriots. And also looks to be Miguel Bayo as well out there on the right side. Sapper. Ball for Ling. Low ball. And a corner kick for FMU. Short ball, Visnez decides to take a shot. It's blocked, but Garcia has it right back, and he's going to shield it, and it's going to be a corner kick for FMU. Number eight corner kick, 27 shots. To the Warriors, six shots, zero corner kicks. Ball sent back into the box, headed out by the Warriors. 
Five and a half remaining on the clock. Another ball sent in. Uh, I want to say Bayo would have mainly been offsides on that play, but would have loved to see. Hughes comes up with a nice grab. Out of bounds, stays with the Patriots. Garcia over to Visnez. And I'm not exactly sure what the Patriots are going to do here with the last four and a half minutes, if they're just going to try and hold possession, take it down to the corner flag, take a couple more shots, either or. You know, with four and a half to go, it's going to be quite difficult for the Warriors to make it back. Although things have happened in the history of sports that I cannot question nor explain how they happened, but they have happened. We're here at a men's soccer match, four minutes is still a lot of time but I don't know if it's quite enough to put nine in the back of the net. Hughes going to take the goal kick, play it to midfield. Morales was right there. He's going to head it back to Visnez, and I assume the Patriots are just going to play a pass around now. Alamon loses it under his foot. Back out to Visnez. Bayo was looking for Morales and a throw in given for the Patriots. And they will sort of bat it around the back line and see what they can do here with the last two and a half to go. Vista is going to have to chase this one back and play it to Scapolo. Over to Garcia. Back over to Visnez. In the middle to Sapper, lost. And Snow will play it back to the defense. Alamon. Free kick given to the Patriots. Under two minutes to go now. Score still stays 9-0. And a free kick given to the Warriors. Minute and a half remaining on the clock. See if the Warriors can put one in the back of the net before the game finishes out. Ball from Hughes into the box. Visnez right there. And cleared away by Max Ling. One minute remaining. We've got the under minute mark. The Patriots are just going to try and send the ball towards the corner flag most likely and just run this clock out. Seems to be exactly what Javier Bayo is doing, unless 
the Warriors can somehow win it back and try a last second effort just to get one on the board and a free kick now for the Warriors. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds now. Hughes is just going to boom this one upfield. And with 10 seconds, eight, Hugo Johnson seven, six, gets a head on it. And that's going to do it for us. You're at Hartzler Field in Florence, South Carolina, with a final score of nine to nothing. Patriots taking this one away from Southern Wesley and both the men's and women's soccer teams today coming out victorious. Women getting their match on childhood cancer leukemia game. Patriots winning their breast cancer awareness match. Big doves for both programs today. But let's talk about some of the final stats here. Southern Wesleyan, you know, six shots total. Nunez led the attack for SWU with three shots, two on goal, one shot for Fonseca, one for Wright, and one for Greenwood, which was also on goal. Nothing from the substitutes of the Warriors. Looking at the Patriots side, though, the obvious leader in goals, Javier Bayo with three goals, all three shots on target. Hunick with a goal with two shots on target. Zamora with a goal with three shots and two on target. Curvelo with a goal with three shots and two on target. Max Ling with a shot. Caballero with a shot on target. Villarreal with two assists, one shot on target as well. Caballero with a shot. Crespo with a shot. Miguel Bayo with an assist. And looking at the starters for Francis Marion. That's right, I was just doing the substitutes right there. The starters, Hugo Johnson with his first game ever as a Patriot. He got two goals in this match, all coming in the first 10 minutes of the first half. Three shots, two on target. One goal for Paul Sapper at the one shot attempt on target. One assist for Aleman. Two assists for Kimo Limka and a shot on target. Luke Gielen with two shots, one on target. Giancarlo Palma with three shots and one on target. And Jose Spasaro with two assists and one shot on target. The goalkeepers for both sides, the Warriors... Playing two, and Will Hughes and Wesley Bigby. Hughes getting seven saves, allowing four goals, and Bigby allowing five with two saves. The Patriots, Andres Capola with a clean sheet and three saves to his name. The Patriots will be back to action on the road for a two-game road trip with Belmont Abbey, which is making up from the Hurricane Ian postponement. And at Converse, October 19th, the Belmont Abbey game, sorry, will be on Monday at 7 o'clock. You can catch that on the Patriot Sports Network or on the Conference Carolina Digital Network, as well as Converse and Erskine, October 22nd. That's going to do it for us, though, here on the Patriot Sports Network.